Hey guys! Okay, so I've tried to film this video once before and it didn't work out, so I'm gonna have to hand hold the camera. I hope that's okay. Um, I have a project share for you all and this is something I've been working on for my craft room um, over the last few weeks, but just here and there just because I wasn't happy with it at first. So I went back and changed it around. So um, this is just something I have put together for myself for my craft room and um, it involves projects that other people or items that other people have given to me. So here it is. It is a Tilda Magical Toy Store. Um, I got this little house looking thing with the door on it at the thrift store and it was black and gold when I first got it and it had like a crackle finish. You can actually still see some of that crackle in there. I don't care, it's texture, whatever, you know. So I painted it with some paint that I got from Target in the paint aisle and I believe the color is called divine something I can't remember but it comes in a little sampler um, container um, so you don't have to buy the whole gallon worth of paint if you want to just try it on your walls and stuff like that so I got this little stamp sampler because they were on sale and um, that is the color that you're seeing here um, of the actual house um, the door opens and closes. It's on a hinge and um, I just prop it open because I did not decorate too much of the outside itself only because I know that this will probably be facing you know out and you'll never see the back anyway um, where it's going to be displayed. So um, let me start at the top and I apologize for the shaking but this is how I have to film it. I put a huge butterfly from Michaels here um, in cream and then some of these wild orchid craft flowers, some heart bling. I use the Tilda die cuts um, from the corner shop I believe that's from and um, so I went with the toy store um, theme and um, this Tilda doll that you're seeing in here was given to me by Gloria who is Crafty Cake 7 here on YouTube. She gave this to me in our Christmas swap and she's actually um, on a doll stand which is why she's able to stand without falling over all the time and um, you can see I put some of the doll the dollhouse, um, the airplane, a doily back there um, I just put a few um, die cuts from the Tilda corner shop um, paper pad in the background there and this this house had actually those little hooks I, I guess this is meant to hold keys or whatever um, but I just um, left the hooks in there and I put like a little tassel back there there's one on the um, there's a little tag on one of them and then there's an art cake and then down where her legs are I use some of the little toy pieces that I have which is from a chest set that's um, glass and they have like a frosted and a clear glass to signify the two sides of the chest set and then a little um, red bike um, it's a miniature from Michaels and then this little spider here is hanging off the side of the house on some monofilament and this spider was actually made for me by Terry F. here on YouTube. She um, gifted this to me, um, I think it was around Christmas time. She made those with her granddaughter. Um, and it's made from beads. And then on this side, I have some more die cuts here at the bottom from the paper stack. And then as we move up, you can see there's a banner and I put some flowers there. And then I made this little um, wreath. There's a little doorknob on the other side of the door, which this was sitting on, and then I decided, okay, you're never going to see it, so I'll just um, put it on the inside hanging from the window, and it's like an open sign for a little toy shop. And so what I did was just take the laurel leaves here um, and fold them or bend them and wire them together into a wreath style, and then I put one of the die cuts, or two of the die cuts from the paper stack, and then this bow I cut from a die that Tracy Savely gave to me in our swap. So this is a paper smooches bow and it's really tiny, really cute. And that is cut from Tilda paper as well. So, and then the final part is up here. And then I have this pink bird from Michaels and she's sitting on some twigs and then some more of that um, pink ombre um, uh, wheat spray. So that is my little toy store that I made for myself. And the doll does come out. Um, she's just sitting on the stand and the stand's in there, so I figured I'd give her a home now. Um, really her own toy store. And that is my share for now, and thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye now.